Hey guys, I'm back here with JT Torres, ADCC 2022, day two. And uh, JT, your student just won, man. Yep. How do you feel about that? Man, it feels like uh, it feels like I won. Actually, probably feels better than when I win, man. Uh, I'm, I'm so over the moon for her. Uh, she, I know how hard she worked. I know how much uh, effort she put in, put forward uh, during the camp. Her prep up to this uh, was not an easy one. Like I always say, ADCC camps are the toughest camps out there. And she pushed through, man, and she accomplished her goal of becoming the best in the world. And I'm so happy for her. It feels like I won. Like I said, I, it may even feel better than when I win, man. That's how invested I am into my students, into my athletes at Essential. Um, it's just so it's just so amazing to see her, all her hard work pay off. Awesome, man. So you said that you guys, uh, it's one of the hardest camps. Uh, about how many days, how many hours were you yourself putting into this? And so I was training uh, for two months, two and a half months. Uh, four, uh, four to five days a week, uh, two sessions a day, um, a lot of hours, man. I can't really, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm so emotional right now. <laughs> no, uh, I feel that, yeah. My math probably going to be wrong if I put out a number right now. But yeah. a, a lot of hours, man. Practices are long um, and they're tough. But like I said, they were, they were well worth it, man. And it's it's awesome to see her, her performance. Awesome. And was uh, Fiona putting in as much time as you were? Was she putting in more? Or oh, was she absolutely. there time with you? No, we were all there together side by side, uh, helping one another push through. That's the thing about having a great team and surrounding yourself with people who are like-minded and people who have the same goals as you. Because there's going to be days that maybe you're not motivated, right? I always say this. Motivation, we need the motivation, but sometimes motivation's not there, right? It's, it's the human nature to be like, man, I'm a little tired today, I'm a little bit sore today. But that's why you rely on your discipline and on your teammates around you to uplift you and keep uh, helping you push through. And that's exactly what we did for one another. So yeah, I was right there besides her. Help, we're all helping one another. Everyone part of the camp, coaches, uh, our teammates, the other students, everyone was helping one another. Um, and like I said, you gotta stay disciplined and have good people around you. And that's exactly what we had at Essential. Awesome. We, so, that's what we do have yeah, at Essential. For sure, for sure. So, uh, Octos actually has claim to the youngest ever ADC champion now with uh, Cade. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I guess, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, man, Cade absolutely killed it this weekend, Did man. He, man. Yeah, big congrats to him. Uh, he, very, very deserving, man. The kid is a great kid along with his brother. They're great people, man. I like them a lot, and I'm happy to see him become champion, man. Obviously, I would have loved to win another world title this weekend, but like I said, it wasn't meant for me this time around, and if it was meant for somebody, I'd love to see it go to him, and he, he, he earned it, man. He earned it. He submitted all his opponents all the way to the, to the gold. Yeah. Tough opponents, too. Good for him, man. Congratulations to him. My hat's off to him. Amazing performance. Congratulations, Kate. Yeah, awesome. JT Torres, guys.